Booth here at the Donald L. Tucker Civic Center at Florida State University, where the North American LCS team solo mid are about to square off against the number one team in the LPL, Edward Gaming. Man, this match is going to be intense. It will, and I think a lot of it, just like this tournament, really does focus on Dyrus's performance here. Uh, Dyrus actually was the number one player in terms of giving up first blood in the entire NALCS spring split at 35% and he's up at 75% here at MSI. And a lot of people will be quick to blame Dyrus for this, but it really is a systemic failure from TSM. Santorin's jungle pathing really hasn't helped him out very much, and even though he's had some qu questionable pressure at times, it's something that they really need to solve because top lane has proved so critical at this tournament, and the snowballs coming in off of the top lane on enemy teams are hugely problematic. It's something that wasn't punished in the North American LCS. They were always able to get away with Dyrus dying early on in the games. With the teams at the midseason Invitational, that's just simply not the case. EDG will punish it too if it happens again in this game. EDG is the most killy team at MSI right here. Actually, yeah. three quarters of a kill per minute, 94 total kills in four games, which is currently the highest at the midseason Invitational. That is an insane pace of killing the enemy team. And if TSM, specifically Dyrus, continue to put themselves in situations where they can be punished, Edward Gaming, more so than anyone else, will do that. That's right. And before we get into picks and bands, guys, let's take a look at the starters. On the blue side this game, it is Team Solo Mid. Of course, you know them well. Dyrus up in the top lane. Santorin in the jungle. Bjergsen at mid. Wild Turtle at AD carry. And down to support my favorite position. It's Lust Boy. And of course, their coach, Loco Doco. TSM chance still come through. They're not technically out of MSI yet. Not yet. Setting up on the red side is the LPL's Edward Gaming. We got Coral, who is carrying EDG in some of his games from the top lane. Clear love in the jungle. Pawn in mid lane. Deft nearly picked up a pentakill in their last match. Mako on support. And their longtime coach, of course, during picks advance will be Aaron. That's right, and man, I mean, TSM, these fans just don't give up, and they shouldn't. This is a team that just hasn't performed up to what we've seen them perform as in the NALCS. We know, we've, we know they've got it in them. Yeah, they absolutely do. It's been one of the great puzzles of this tournament is the normally very clean uh, TSM just hasn't showed up, and it yeah. seems like everything isn't going their way. Lust Boy yesterday had the lowest wards placed of any support, and in fact, he's bizarre. getting he's getting outwarded by several, not even just one, but several junglers at this tournament so far. Yeah, and you have to wonder whether or not TSM feels defeated right now, because they still just have that one win at the entire event over Besiktas, mm -hmm. and this game is against a team that has looked dominated against everyone except for SKT. But we have to keep in mind, as far as bracket stage implications go, if TSM is able to win this game against EDG, 